Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I will be letting my Instagram followers choose my makeup today, which I'm kind of nervous about because I do have a lot of makeup to choose from and you guys will be deciding what I put on my face today, so I am a little bit nervous. I'm breaking out all over my chin these past few days, so I will need to cover it up ASAP because I literally look disgusting and also I'm barefaced. But before we get into this video, please make sure to follow my Instagram. It is alice.homes. I'll put it on the screen somewhere around here. Please follow me because I want to get to 3,000 followers on Instagram, so please follow me and also subscribe to my channel because it is free and I want to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of April so fingers crossed it will be able to hit that goal of 4,000 because I've been wanting to hit 4,000 since like October time I think and we still haven't hit it so what are you guys doing? Subscribe. I think a lot of other people who watch my videos aren't subscribed so subscribe is free. All you have to do is make an account and subscribe but yeah but I am feeling I am feeling a little bit nervous in today's video because obviously you guys are going to be choosing my makeup but I'm quite excited as well but yeah but without further ado let's go on the video. I've actually filled in my eyebrows because I only ever use one eyebrow product so what's the point in putting it on my pole if you know what I mean. But I think firstly I will start off with eyeshadow so I do have two eyeshadow palettes to choose from. I do have the Morphe 35O palette. It is a... Um, a natural kind of palette. It has a lot of browns in it, some reds, some oranges. I've had this eyeshadow palette for years and I love it so much. The colours are beautiful and then I do have the Be Perfect Cardwell Extra Large palette which is very colourful. So I wonder what everyone is going to choose today. As you can see there are a lot of pinks, reds, greens, blues, basically every colour in the rainbow. So I am feeling a bit nervous today but I'm quite excited. So I have to go and put those on my poles, so I think I'll take a photo on my bed. I almost dropped my phone then. Oh, well that was a close call. So here we go. I'm just going to put them like this. And take a picture of them. Well, that's, a, that's an awful picture. Right, so the picture is here, so I will be putting a poll up on Instagram because that is what I like to do. God, I hardly even know how to work like Instagram altogether to be honest at the minute. Right, poll. What, what, which eyeshadow palette should I use? Which eyeshadow palette, palette should I use Morphe 35 O 35 O or Carnival palette and then I'll leave it for a few mins and then we'll be able to find out what everyone has put so hopefully that's okay and then I think after that I'll move on to primer because I do I store then primer and foundation then powder then bronzer and just all that so it will be um, a primer after that um, I'm really hoping I get to use the Morphe one as it is more of an everyday I should palette obviously, so I'm hoping it'll be that one. Right, next up then, I'm going to be choosing between the Too Faced Peachy Primer, which I do love so much, or the number 7 Hairbrush Away Primer, which is also so good, and it also makes your makeup look so smooth as well, this one, so I'm kind of happy to get either of them, to be honest, so I'll, I'll just take a picture of these two as well. Right, let's take a recording. Stories. What does everyone want to choose for me? Hmm. 
Right, prime, there was a hair on there, lovely. Right. Now, let's choose a Paul Primus. Uh, let's put number seven, number seven, two first. The two first one does smell incredible. It smells of peaches, which is oh, beautiful. Primus. I wonder if it's had any thoughts yet. I've had a few votes already, but that's quite exciting. I've had a few votes already, um, so that's pretty good. So next up is foundations. How do you have the option between the Too Faced Bondsworth foundation, which is beautiful. I got this for Christmas off my mum, and it is such a lovely foundation. Or oh, the Maybelline Superstay. I wear this for every day. The coverage is really, really good, and it's perfect for my spotty skin for covering up like any imperfections and spots and whatever else so let's go for the Too Faced today because it is a lovely foundation and I love it a lot so let's see what everyone wants to put today right discard Foundations, I'll just put two. Which foundation? Foundation, two first, or Maybelline. I'm kind of hoping two first foundations. There we go. Next up, here will be bronzers as the only own a bomb powder, so there's no point in putting up all on that. But two bronzers I do have is the uh, Herb and Decay one. Um, I got this from my birthday or Christmas I think and I have not used it yet so I'm kind of excited to use it but here's the colour and then obviously my gorgeous Too Faced bronzer which is beautiful as well um, so I'll put these in my story now and we'll see what everyone wants to say or vote as I shall say. Right. Right. Bro let's, uh, 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 let's put a fall on for bronzers. Bronzers. Urban decay. Or oh, two first. I'm kinda of hoping Urban Decay has I haven't used it yet, so like it'd be exciting to try out. Um but I, I, I don't mind really. And then next up it will be highlighters so the doll beauty one or the urban decay one for the doll beauty i never ever tried before but look at how beautiful that is stunning so i'll take some pictures of these as well and then we will see what everyone wants to put stories right Put up all doll beauty highlighters. Right. Doll beauty or urban decay. I'll put a little twinkle on that. That'd be cute. And then after that, I do have eyelashes which I think oh no I do have eyelashes and then lips and then I will be ready to find out what everyone has been voting um I do have a makeup account however I did the polls on my main account people are a lot more active on there so I thought like what I, like you might as well just post it on my normal account and I'll be able to get some more subscribers to vote as well but the eyelashes I have to choose I have two pairs of eyelashes but I have the ones in teal 9 and 
the TL6 for me. Um, these ones are brand new, obviously, and these ones I have worn a few times, so I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to wear these huge eyelashes today because they are massive, like they are in your face. Um, so yeah, I'll put a poll on for these as well. Um, I love my eyelashes so much, so obviously I need to include them. Right. Eyelashes. TLC. TL9. And then they can go on there. Eyelashes. And then final one is either a matte lip or a glossy lip. This packaging is really annoying me, so I might try and take it off. Right. <laughs> That'll have to do. <laughs> right. So, NYX lingerie in the shade Lace a Detail. I wear this all the time. Or her Peaches and Cream gloss in the shade Honey. Um, so, let, let's see what everyone wants to, wants to put on them. Final one. Right, lips, matte or gloss and then we will find out what the people are going to put about them. I'm quite excited but quite nervous as well. I don't know what people are going to be putting. So we will find out in a few minutes hopefully. So yeah. Right, so it's been a few minutes now and I will be having a look on my like story and we'll be able to see if my followers have voted like the Morphe palette or the Carnival palette so I'll, I'll put a screen recording on and then I will view my story. I'm kind of nervous because I want to go for like a simple kind of nude eye look today. It's kind of boring I know but I need to film a lot of videos today so it will be helpful if people could go for Morphe, but obviously I can't choose. Um, so here we go. Right. The twenty-two percent of people are voting Morphe, and seventy-eight percent of people are voting Carnival, which means I'm I'm gonna have to go for the Carnival palette. So I've had two people vote Morphe and seven for Carnival. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go for that one. Brilliant. <laughs> right. So. I'll have to cut, I'll have to do a base first. And for my base, I will be using the Revolution Concealer because I do love Revolution so much. It's my favourite concealer ever and it's in the shade C2. So I will be putting it like on my eyelids. Um, but yeah, in case you're wondering, the eyebrow pomade I have used is the Morphe one in the shade Latte. I think, oh, I had a bit of croaky voice then. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of a base on my eyelid and then it will be time to bring out the Carnival palette which is very colourful. I think I'll go for like a pinky eyelid today maybe, I don't quite know. I am wearing pink so it would be nice to go for like a pinky look probably. It's time for eyeshadow, I will be using the Carnival palette. So what colour shall I go for? There's um, a lovely pinky shade called Makeup and I could like do um, a shimmery eye look with a bit of a darker pink and then a lighter pink to blend it out. I think I'll go for that eye look today. Um, so the brush I will have to use is, I'm going to go for Spectrum brush in A12. I love this for packing on eyeshadow, it is so good. Right. I will be using the shade Influence and I will be putting that on my eyelid obviously because it's eyeshadow. Um, I'll pack it on and just build the colour up. Who else hate, who else hate applying eyeshadow because it honestly takes ages to put eyeshadow on your eyelids. Like it's the longest process ever. Like I hate it so much but I love the outcome of doing eyeshadow though. Like, very cool, very good, very nice. 
Right, I'm just going to keep blending, like so, and build the colour up on my eyelid until it's all bald and I can blend it out. I don't want to go for like a fancy eye look because honestly I do not have the effort to be going for like a really glittery like full on eye look but um, I think it would be nice to just do a bit of pink on my eye and then I'll be able to blend it out with a bit of a, like a lighter pink. Right, perfect. So now... It is time to use the shade Makeup, which is a, a lovely pinky shade. I will be using the brush H12 again. It is a different one though, but these ones are the best. And then I'll just be blending this like on the outside of my eyes and to kind of blend it out. Right. That is almost all blended now. It's a very pretty simple eye look. I love these two colours actually together, they're very pretty. I love them a lot. Right. Ooh! I, I do quite like that. But that is very nice. So now that my eyes are all done, like honestly the pink colour is popping, I love it so much. It is now time for these two primers. So I will be having a look on Instagram to see what everyone has voted. So for primers, 80% of the people have voted for Too Faced and the rest have voted for 20% for number 7. So that is not bad at all. Um, I'm kind of happy as I love the Too Faced primer so much. So I will be using the Too Faced one which smells incredible. Um, as you can tell it's had anything left in it. I do have another one though, which I could use if this one's not going to come out. Just come on. Why is it not coming out? Come on. I know the product's still in there, it just isn't coming out. Who else hates this struggle? I might even have to cut it open, you know, guys. Oh, it's, it's coming out now. Right. Finally. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put this on my face. Oh, this smells so good and so smooth on your face as well. Like it just smells so good. Rub it in on my forehead fully. Everywhere my cheeks. Honestly, it's so like dull outside and really rainy, so it's not good at all. Right. Now that primer is done, I will be looking on Instagram again, obviously. Foundations is a Too Faced is the winner again. <laughs> but well done you. With 80% and Maybelline was the 20%. 11 people had voted on that one. So it is Too Faced today lads. Um, I love this foundation so much. Um, the coverage isn't as high as the other one but it's still really nice and I love it so much. So. I will be putting it on my face obviously because that's where foundation goes. <laughs> um, so I'll just got I have an annoying hair like on my face. It's like um I don't know, it's sticking out. I apply foundation like directly onto my face if you know what I mean. It's a weird way of applying foundation, I know, but it's the way I like to do it. So I go like this on my forehead, then I go like on my nose. Then here, I will have to put a lot of foundation on my chin because it's very spotty, which I love having spotty skin. Right, then I'll have to wet my beauty blender with a little spray which I use. I just use like a priming spray because I can't be bothered to go to the bathroom to wet my sponge, but here we go. And I will just blend it on my face, like so. In case you're wondering, the Too Faced foundation is in the shade Snow. And the coverage is really nice and you can build it up as well, which is really good. But yeah, oh, it makes your face look so smooth. Super pretty. Honestly, I love Too Faced makeup so much. Like, it is my favourite type of makeup. 
ever. Here is the foundation of my face. I did put some concealer on and powder, but now it'll be time to see the bronzers. So let's have a look on Instagram again. Let's see what people are putting on. For bronzers, I'm surprised actually. Having to care is 78% and Too Faced is for 22%. So we will be going with Urban Decay today. A lot of people had, had voted for Urban Decay, which is quite good. So we will be going for Urban Decay. It's the first time I've been using this bronzer as well, guys, by the way. So I am quite excited to see what it is like. So I will be using my little um, her Peaches and Cream brush in it is PC03 so oh it's very nice oh okay let's have a look and see what this is like I do have a very hairy upper lip as well I will have to wax that soon because it's very bad but this bronzer I'm, I'm really liking it is a bit of an orangey undertone but I think I'll be able to work with it I think it's a nice bronzer. I'll put a little bit on my head. Oh, I'm, oh this is nice. It does apply, um, it does apply really nicely to the skin, which is good. Okay. I'm kind of liking that bronzer. As I said, it is orangey compared to my face like so I think it's a bronzer I could wear with like fake tan I've had like a darker foundation shade on and um, when I'm tanned but it is still a lovely bronzer so next up is highlighter so there was either the Doll Beauty one or the Urban Decay one so um, let's have a look so Doll Beauty is the winner with this one with 63% and Urban Decay is 37%. A lot of people thought it on the highlighter one actually. So, be the first time I am ever using this highlighter, but look how pretty it is. It's absolutely stunning. I love this highlighter so much. And I will be using my Peaches and Cream PC28 Brush Replied Highlighter. Oh my god, it's so glittery and so nice. Oh my god, this highlighter is absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. Wow, I am. So, oh my god, look at that. I'm actually glowing, and then I'm gonna put a bit on my brow bone, and then the inner corner as well. Oh my god, the pigmentation on this highlight is so good. And now it is time for eyelashes. I kind of have a feeling it could be these ones because they're absolutely huge. Eyelashes, of course. These one with 55% and then 45%. Close actually, but 12 the people have voted for these ones. And 10 for these, so very close. So I will be putting on these massive ones today. I will have to cut them down to size because they are huge eyelashes. Where are my scissors at? I'll try and find my scissors. But, oh my god. These lashes are humongous. Look at them. It's time to apply the eyelashes. I will be using the Duo Glue. It is quick set one. But, yeah. Um, I will be trying to put these on now I have cut them to the shape of my tiny eyes because I do have like small eyes I would probably say and um, so these will be going on my lashes hopefully I'm hoping they won't be too big on my eyes because they are quite like in your face lashes but I'm quite excited to use them I absolutely love the tatty lashes like so much I just am obsessed with Tatty lashes. Hand doll lashes are really nice as well actually, but these ones are a good winner. Right, let's see if I can try and put them on. 
I'm scared to apply these because they are massive. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to apply them correctly or what. Okay, oh my god. These are massive. I might have to apply these off camera because they're very big and it's quite awkward to put them on. Hi lashes are finally on. They took forever to stick on my eyes but they're finally on and the final one is lips so an option between a matte or a gloss and most of the people voted gloss so I will be using a gloss on my lips today. I'm quite happy about that because I love having a glossy lip all the time so I'll just take a screenshot of that one. So yeah, um, I will be using a Morphe lip liner in the shade a Crush as well because I have to wear a lip liner with like any lip product that I use. Lip liner done. And now it's time for the gloss. I will be using a brush to apply this with. It is in the shade Honey. It's a lovely colour. I'm just going to put a bit on the brush. And then we'll see the magic happen. Look at that. Look at that. But that gloss is lovely. I am obsessed with this makeup guys, like utterly and honestly I just love my makeup look so much, like it's so pretty. So everybody, here is my finished makeup look, I've gone for like a pinky eye look, full eyelashes, a gloss, a lovely bronzer, highlight as well, honestly you guys chose some great makeup to use my face today and I'm super happy with the finished makeup look so here it is but anyways i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please subscribe to my channel and please follow my instagram because i want to get to 3000 followers on there so please make sure to follow that as well but yeah i'll see you all in my next video bye everybody